Hello everyone, I'm Asif Ali and you're watching CG Hop video and today I have created this portal effect in Unreal Engine Niagara. So let's check it out how I created this. First of all subscribe my youtube channel and also click on bell icon so you will receive all new video notification. So I have this effect as you can see and I have this widget also here to change the whole effect color you can see. So what is this here this is my whole effect system. This portal and to change the color I have this widget in this widget I have the slider and on value change of the slider I am changing this hue parameter that is here material parameter collection which has this scalar parameter hue and this is connecting in all my particle system here sorry not party system uh, in all my materials so if you'll see in every material i have this hue shift in emissive and this master material parameter collection in all my material so i can just easily change the color like if i open this and if i change the color from here you can see it's changing so i just connected this with blueprint with that widget and this is working so now in portal my first emitter is this frame this frame I'll just move it here and simulate so you can see properly and just move it down so now you can watch it properly and if you notice when I play it from starting is emitting and it has this distorted mesh that it completely uh, make this complete frame then at the end it again distort back to the center so how is happening in my material uh, this is the mesh and you can see the material is applied and this is distorted and this is the material so what is this here if i choose the mesh here in material preview so this is just the color and here here i am subtracting my local position from the zero zero from the pivot uh, from the grid from the uh, uh, this object okay so from the center of that so if I directly connect this in my world portion offset this will disappear because it has gone all the vertices has gone to the center of the object. So what is I am doing I am lurping this thing with this noise texture. So if I connect this here. So where is black and white values it's where is white is trying to push that mesh to the center where is black is trying to uh, just stay the same at same position all the vertices and now I am subtracting some value from noise so I can just animate that thing in here here so you can see in dynamic parameter I have some values here in the starting 
and n to make this effect okay so i'm just spawning one particle that is this mesh and this material has dynamic parameter so i can just distort it okay initial rotation just to make this x facing and size of mesh is 4 there is no color needed here because taking from material then second is star so second is this star that is writing that is making from this point and is covering this whole star then become black and just dissolve with noise see so how it is happening i have this mesh this is my star mesh and uvs are straight uvs are straight for this mesh and if you if i open the material and choose this mesh and preview this here so it's not visible right now but i'll show you how it will visible so like i take this texture coordinate and use the mask if i preview this now my star is visible if i make the only red channel you can see this gradient is from here to here and if i subtract some value from this gradient I preview this it's completely black if I subtract like 0.2 you can see this gradient is shifting if I add sign uh, debug time sign and connect it here now you can see this gradient is animating so that is how I'm doing but instead of this thing this debug time sign I'm using dynamic parameter to wipe it out and then I have this noise texture that I'm using to dissolve this at the end and this thing to hew it with my widget. So here is my dynamic parameter to wipe it out. And this is the, this dynamic parameter is to just make it dissolve. And color you can see here from yellow it turns black here and i'm spawning one particle with this mesh this material life is 2 size is 36 fair location just to offset but there is no uh, value so you can avoid that initial rotation just to make this x facing and color is turning from yellow to black and dynamic parameter to wipe to make this star and then to dissolve this star with another curve then this flower so this flower emitting so what is happening i have this half torus you can see this is torus shape and this is half and i'll just remove this material so you can see this is half torus and this is the material that i have so if I preview this torus here this is my torus and this is my texture so I'll duplicate this texture and just preview this so you can see this texture how it's showing this is my petal texture and this is appearing like this so if I just offset this texture if I pan this texture on one direction, how it will go? Because this texture has this thing here, this clamp. So because I'm doing panning, so it will just move it. So if I just make it wrap for now, and now you can see it's panning and just the wrong direction so this is the direction that i want from center this petal is coming out this is how it's coming here in my particle system see just with the red color so this is how i did that but because pan has no control it will repeat it's finishing and again coming i don't need that so i'm using 
clamp here and I'll just do it again oops my unreal has just crashed so I will just reopen it again and we'll continue that tutorial so unreal has opened again and we were covering this flower emitter so uh, you have now idea what I have done here so my pedal is just moving with this dynamic parameter and I have also noise texture to distort you can see there is some distortion also see if I increase that distortion like too much so you can see the petal has now distorted too much but I am just using 1 and 0 and the color is red of course here you can see orange so what I am doing is spawning 6 particle bursting and sphere location then orientation just to uh, face that x axis and dynamic parameter just to pan it and some random tiling with uh, noise and distortion random and color is red and I have hemi uh, torus and this material then I have duplicated this flower two times more so first this is the exactly same thing just I am using spawn rate this time so it will continuously spawning and everything is same then again I duplicated this and just decrease the alpha so it's just to fill it so I have random alpha 0 0.01 and 1 if I make it 1 it's same so I'm just making the to fill it okay the next is smoke so I have this smoke it it bursting then it's spreading in a ring and then it's going back so I have this material so what I have here I have this noise texture I am just powering this this noise texture look like this then I am multiplying this noise texture with radial exponent so it's cutting this noise and then I have that fade and this is going to opacity and here I have this multiplying texture coordinate so I can randomize the tiling of this and erode this with this power so here in dynamic parameter if you will notice I have random tiling and I am eroding this over life so I am bursting 100 particle with some delay life is random and spread size is also random rotation is also random torus location is 10 radius and velocity from point so it's spreading that torus particle and then velocity uh, on y minus x so it's just moving that behind that that torus that portal and color is from orange to dark red and some gravity also on x axis and dynamic parameter to randomize the tiling and erode this the next is flare so now i have this flare very simple uh, emitters i have this simple material so this is the simple texture and i'm just bursting two particles and life is 2.8 color is orange random size random rotation and spread is scaling up and down so you can see in starting it's scaling up and it remains there then it, is, it will scale down that's it nothing else then flare so i duplicated this emitter and just changed the material this time this material is this lines so in this texture i have two channels so red one and green one this time I'm using red channel red channel so I have these lines same thing spawning particle and it will scale up then remain there then scale down so spawning two particles then glow so I have this glow it's like a flash see so what I did uh, I have the same smoke material that I used for smoke this time I'm bursting 10 particle on a torus location color is yellow to dark yellow and dynamic parameter to randomize tiling in a road 
and aligning on x axis here is custom alignment so you will see it's aligned on x it's not camera facing then distortion so now i have distortion here you can see it so i duplicated this smoke layer this glow layer and just change the material this time i have this distortion material this noise tag this uh, uh, norm map is going to normal this noise texture just for refraction so you can see i have this noise this distortion here and same thing then glow again so same layer of glow this time just the alpha is down uh, not alpha uh, the color is down is not very hot color same thing just to fill then black again duplicated this layer and uh, same material of smoke just color is now black then flare glow again duplicated that and this time change the material to radial and decrease the size same thing flare glow one again duplicated this layer this time color is red and size is bit more increased then light i have a point light here you can see on ground this red so i'm just using this light render 200 scale spawning two particles and the color is red hue then spark so i have these sparks bursting from that torus so for these sparks i have radi uh, radial material spawning 40 to 60 random particle life is random color is random size is random rotation is random and torus shape velocity on minus x so it's just throwing it on minus x then velocity from point so it's throwing away from the center from the torus shape then some drag for over life and gravity on z curl noise for uh, random movement and random strength random frequency spread is scaling down over life and color is fading out then ring so i have this ring so for this ring this is the material that i have a ring material very simple and what i'm doing spawning one part uh, two particles and custom alignment aligning on x and this is aligned on x you can see x axis spawning two particle torus location uh, and color is yellow to red dynamic parameter not required here and aligned on c x sorry and last is glow so again one more glow this time this is yellow and the size is very high 400 to 700 color is yellow to red and all together it looks like this it looks cool it's simple and i hope you like this if you have any query just comment below the video and don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel cg how thanks for watching keep learning bye bye